Hey there guys, welcome back to another video on my chaparral boat. This is repairing the Magic Tilt trailer. As you see here, I've got the leaf spring out and I'm working on the actual rotor. They are quite rusted. I'm going to try to get these turned, but if I can't get them turned, then I'm going to have to buy a new rotor. And that's $103 each one. Ooh. The leaf springs, if you haven't noticed, look at this one right here. It is bent. It's just garbage and the one across i don't know if you can see it over there but it actually broke in half so this one was about to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and replace all four of them on the trailer um the brakes yeah that's another story uh this was what i had left over on the brakes not much of anything as you see they're just crap these are your ufp brakes I did find them on a trailer website. These are the DB35, so if you need to know which model you have, these are the DB35s uh, on this particular trailer. I am gonna get the new dust boots, the new clips, the new retainers, the new caliper uh, guides, and the new brake pads. All those, I found them on, I think it was Redneck Trailers for the DB35 kit, it was like $39 each. And of course you gotta pay shipping, but that was the best deal I found online. Uh, these actual leaf springs are the 20 inch leaf springs, three leaf. And I can actually find these over here at Northern Tools. So that's where I'm gonna go get them because everywhere else I was looking, yeah, they had them online, but you had to pay shipping. And well, when you're paying by the pound, it starts to add up quite a bit. So stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, but this is the adventure that I've gotten into. So if you need any help, check it out. Oh, one thing. Ah. So I've learned that these are called bunks and that was one of my bunk support tubes. As you see, that guy is completely gone. I did order another one. So if you're looking for the little pole that holds up the bunk, it is a bunk support pole. This one that I have on here is a inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing. So therefore you can find that online. I found that fairly easy. I think it was about $12 plus some shipping um, through East Marine. Thank you and have a good day. Good luck.